hope is an emotion. We seek out hope to help us get through the challenges that life presents us. But hope is also a fact. When a child with a myriad of disabilities can learn to stand on his own when that wasn't possible a few weeks earlier, then hope becomes a reality. All the way up to the sky. Get in the face. Okay. Push, push, push. Yeah, there you go. Do your pushing. Meet Jimmy. This is a young guy who just doesn't quit. The simplest explanation for his condition is cerebral palsy. But he and his family face so many more challenges. He's got vision issues, he has feeding issues, he's got low tone, he's nonverbal, he's in a wheelchair. We just found out his right diaphragm is paralyzed. We don't know why. There's no shortcut to living with those challenges. Jimmy is 10, he's growing, he's approaching 80 pounds. His parents are finding it harder and harder to lift him to take him places. So he has to learn to do some of the work himself. Go, go, go. Job. Nice job, sir. Yeah. We've been walking a lot on sit to stands um, so that when he's getting dressed, when he's getting out of his wheelchair, when he's being transferred from one position to the other, one place to the other, he can help out because he's heavier to lift. He's a beast. He's a beast. I mean, I. I don't, know, I don't know how else to describe it. He works harder than anyone I know. And I think about it because I run with him now. When I go out there and I train, I think about him. And I think about how hard he pushes himself every day in therapy. So how dare I not finish that last mile or, or whatever. And especially now that we know that you know he's fighting all these lung issues, so he's having trouble breathing when we're asking him to walk down, stand up, or do all these things that are so hard for him, and he doesn't complain. How dare I complain about anything? Even Jimmy's fighting spirit couldn't overcome some big obstacles that affected him over the last few months. We had been noticing his oxygen requirements were going up at night, and he had a cough. We found out about the right diaphragm paralysis, but along with that, he started needing oxygen during the day, and so we were scared that we were starting to see some decline. When Jen told Richmond Hope Therapy Center founder and director Cindy Richards that Jimmy was in serious decline, Cindy knew where to turn. And this one particular day, Jen was just down, and we I was treating Jimmy, and the more she talked about what she needed, I, I thought of Noah's children and I, I showed her the brochure and we talked about it and she had a, you know, a real heartfelt conversation um, and she said, I think it was time that she had enough courage to go ahead and make that phone call. All right, Jimmy's favorite song. You ain't nothing but a hound dog. <laughs> crying all the time. Noah's children is music to the ears of families who can be overwhelmed by all that it takes to comfort a child with a declining life expectancy. Is it okay for me to say my child may die? And just giving them the validation that that is okay to say they are supported by us. We will never judge them for thinking that. We preach quality of life and it's really a part of Noah's children and a part of our families. They're dealing with emotional and spiritual and uh, practical distress and palliative care is intended to help these children, but not just the child, but also the family, and uh, help navigate the incredibly complicated health care system that they face and do so in a way that addresses all their distressing needs. Both organizations are looking toward the future, providing expanded services and a new physical expansion of Richmond Hope Therapy Center. Having speech, occupational therapy, as well as physical therapy all under the same roof it helps the continuity of care for that child. It not only gives them better treatment because we as providers are in close proximity and can talk about how we can help this child, but it also helps the family because they're not driving all over town to go to different therapy services. Noah's Children is celebrating its 20th year of helping families face these challenges. Their continuing growth and expertise is made possible by the generosity of our community. The impact is huge. We have a community that is very caring, very generous. The Bon Secours healthcare system has been amazing. Neither Noah's Children nor Richmond Hope Therapy Center will cure Jimmy. Their organizations working together instead create the conditions for a better life for a boy and his family who love him without condition. If we didn't have Richmond Hope, I don't know how we would function day to day. 
And if we didn't have Noah's children, they were there for us when, when Jimmy's had really hard times. They play with our kids, our kids love them. They think, you know, they think of them as being friends. I honestly don't know what we would do without either group right now. Thank you.